Hello everybody, so today I have a review for you of the Blackhawk Serpa CQC uh, leg holster. I got this holster a couple weeks ago. I've been wearing it every day for a couple hours every night, practicing the draw and all that, getting used to how it feels on my body. Um, and then yesterday I was out all day long training in it, and I really like this holster. So let's go over here to the tailgate, throw it down there, and uh, show you a little bit about it. All right, everybody. So here it is. This is uh, here's the part of the packaging that it came in. I came in a bag, ripped it off, and all that. But I saved this for you. It's the Blackhawk Products um, Serpa CQC holster. And uh, this is not a new holster. This isn't anything that's like brand new on the market or anything. But it's one that I've always wanted to get. Um, I've had other nylon leg holsters in the past with the single strap that comes up off of it and all that. Um, I was never really a fan of them. I got a good deal on this, um, but they normally sell for anywhere between $100 and $140, depending on which ones you get. And then, of course, they're up from that, uh, depending on what level of retention and all that that you get. But let's go over this one real quick. Well, what it has here is it has the holster, the uh, polymer holster with the push button retention that we've all grown to either love or hate I guess it did come with these two pieces right here which are a flashlight holder and a magazine holder and they would get mounted there but uh, not a fan of these so I didn't run them. so next is the belt loops these are the belt loops um, they are velcro they go around your belt and they have a quick release right here to come off easily and swivel. Like I said, the, uh, the holster itself with the push button release and uh, the leg straps, which have a little bit of give to them, elasticity with uh, good heavy buckles. And the other side has fixed straps. And on the inside of the straps is the rubber coating that helps it grab the grab the pant leg so it doesn't move so much. Now here's the back side of it. As you can see, maybe you can see, but uh, where it mounts, these are the mounting holes back here where it mounts the holster. But um, not a whole lot of frills back there. Again, a bunch of that uh, rubbery, rubbery strips in the straps in order to help grab the leg and um, of course removable you know completely removable you can put a single vertical strap on this but why would you want to do that um, but it is removable you can put different platforms on here you can put the uh, quick release on here in order to take holsters on and off and uh, so on so let's put it on we'll talk a little bit about proper fitment and some of the pros and cons of these holsters alright so a little bit about proper fitment of these holsters as you can see, I do have it attached to my belt. You want to have you want to have these vertical straps on either side of a belt loop. That way, they don't slide together, and the and the holster rides down. You do want these leg straps pretty much as high as you can get them. These you should not have to reach for the holster for the pistol. It should be a, a natural, almost a relaxed bent arm position when reaching for this when reaching for your pistol a lot of people wear them way too low they're almost to the knee uh, they talk about it being too tight up here that's how they're designed to be ran high speaking of people not liking how they feel they're also designed to be ran tight this should be tight on your leg uh, the rubber shouldn't the rubber coating on there that I showed you earlier should not have to do the work for you uh, these are made to be very stable platforms and they don't move around a whole lot I mean anything you're hearing if you hear that shake which you may or may not hear it is my pistol moving a little bit in there good retention but it is moving a little bit in there but these are designed to not go anywhere once they go on your leg now I find this to be really comfortable um, it gets gets things off your hips so you don't run into range of motion problems with your hips and torso. Also many times you find with the battle belts when you put a holster on your battle belt it sits way up high. 
and you really have to draw the pistol out far or, or, or almost higher than you're used to in order to unholster it. Now I did mention the retention. Great retention. I mean, I can't get that out of there. And it's the finger press. The, you press that little paddle button and it releases right out of there. Real smooth. And if you listen, it clicks right in there real nicely. You can get a good fast draw out of it and then know that you have positive retention once you put it back in the holster. So let's do a couple quick uh, or short draw and shoot drills just a couple practice times so you can see exactly how this thing works out. Very natural. It's, it's, it's right there where I want to grab it I don't have to reach for it and when I put my hand back down to my side it's in the perfect place perfect placement for it to go right back in So I consider, one, consider this holster to be one of the better holsters out there on the market as far as leg holsters go. Now you can buy them where you put them on your hip um, and you can buy them with molly attachments to put it as a cross draw or even put on a nylon or a Cordura leg panel, uh, molly leg panel if you like. Now positives and negatives, uh, drawbacks and good things about it. I've already told you some of the good things about it. You know, your hand placement is right where it needs to be. You're not up here doing too many, you know, bending in too many places to draw your pistol. You're, you're in a relaxed position when you draw it. Um, it's got great retention. Great retention. It's comfortable. It is modular. You can, you, you can take this off and put it on other places, which is another plus. Uh, it is a bit pricey. You know, like I said, they range 100, 140 bucks for this basic model, um, and then on up from there for different level re levels of retention and all that. The biggest, two biggest drawbacks of it is number one, it's a spare holster. This is not a holster that you're going to be walking around town with. Obviously, you're not concealed carrying with this, um, and most people aren't going to be open open carrying with this. So that's the drawback is you're spending 140 bucks on an extra holster. Now that being said, if you're into tactical maneuvers, if you do a lot of training like I do, it is a great holster to have and you have those extra pieces and parts and pieces of equipment that you don't use in your daily life. Now I would say that most, the, the biggest drawback uh, for me is I've always had the stance with these holsters that they're not a good holster for the new shooter and that includes even at the hip. If you have a new shooter that's looking at these holsters for a hip holster, for the paddle hip holster, I wouldn't suggest it. And I don't suggest it because of its release mechanism. Now I know you've probably all heard this several times before, but I've seen a lot of new shooters, they'll take that release mechanism and really push with their index finger on that button, and when they draw it out, their finger goes right on the trigger, and I find that to be quite unsafe. Uh, it does not take that kind of pressure to hit the button, just flat finger it and it will come right out. But again, with new shooters I don't suggest this holster or the hip version of this holster. Now with all that being said, I hope you liked the review. Uh, my apologies for some of the shooting in the background if that drowned out some my voice a little bit. Uh, but this is public lands. I can't do anything about it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of the holster. Tell me what you think of the review. And uh, you know, let me know some of your stories. If you have one of these, let me know what you think of it and uh, how long you've been running it and all that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Also share. And thanks for listening.